Uh, I became interested in geology not because uh, I was interested in geology. Uh, it was a very strange uh, system in China that when you took an uh, entrance exam uh, to get into university, you fill up what you want, but then the, the, the government will decide whether your grades are matching what you want. So what I wanted was computer science, uh, math, physics, and my grades were not good enough. So then the government assigned me to study geology, but turns out it was the best assignment. Uh, I started geology uh, at a Beijing University, also known as a Peking University uh, in Beijing. Um, and after taking the first geology class, I immediately realized that this was better than I planned to do uh, math, the computer, because this is something that uh, combines my interest in, in math, uh, nature, and history all together. And I never looked back. Okay. I started at UCLA, believe it or not, in 1987 when I just freshly off uh, PhD. I came here to teach uh, uh, various uh, geology courses. Okay. So for the classes I'm uh, teaching uh, at UCLA, um, I take students to national parks. So this is my uh, uh, sort of fair locks uh, uh, teaching effort. The grand scheme of the fair locks classes is to give the students a small classroom uh, experience. Uh, they will learn a subject that's frontier, that's uh, stimulating, that's uh, uh, scientifically uh, interesting and societally relevant. So I thought that the Grand Canyon geology uh, would be a good one. Then I thought if I teach a geology of Grand Canyon, why not to teach geology of uh, Death Valley and Yosemite and then make it as a quarterly classes and uh, depending on the seasons, take them to uh, different places. The Grand Canyon would be the I would say probably the best place because for geologic education. You just can't find anywhere in the world that you can read a geologic history in such a clear manner. So, so, so I found that the field setting is a great uh, uh, vehicle to uh, convey this idea to take students um, in a setting that's not a very rigid, that's not uh, also not overwhelmingly big so they know everybody on a first name basis, and they can also call their professor on the first name basis, very informal. The favorite part of the trip is really to hear from students, that is really to hear their stories around uh, a campfire, to uh, listen to their uh, dreams, their ambitions about what they want to become, and also the inspiration that they learned during the field trip, um, you know, what are the things that they never thought about it, I think that those are the things uh, that really uh, please me and that, that, that's the part I enjoy the most.